Right, welcome to another video, another day, another video, literally 24 hours after the previous one. The, the Breda 128 game did really well, it's already on 70 views, so I thought oh, I, I just want to get another video out. And this gameplay here I got last night, literally the last game I played, Rotterdam, uh, the Gewehr Sniper, Bolt Action Sniper, uh, and I managed to get a 106 kill game with it, it was a pretty crazy game. Um, I was hitting some, you'll see I missed quite a lot of shots because what you'll you'll learn as you play with snipers is you've got to just take loads of pot shots and just go for it uh, and the more shots you take and the more you miss the when you finally do hit those shots you'll start to learn you know um take those moving targets you'll start to learn how much you need to lead your target with whatever sniper you're using obviously and you'll get used to that using that sniper but i managed to get a 106 kill game with uh, this sniper and i hit some app it was a crazy game to be honest it was just non-stop action um, and I was hitting some really, really nice moving headshots, which I've never actually been able to do with this sniper because I haven't used it very long. But yeah, so obviously if you want to see the specializations that I'm using with this sniper, there is the specializations uh, videos. There you are, there's one moving headshot, absolutely lovely. Uh, and yeah, uh, without further ado, I'll just talk a bit through, uh, through the game. Uh, all the snipers generally are the same, uh, but for, for this sniper, the Gewehr sniper, has got quite a bit more bullet drop compared to my favourite sniper, the Car 98. And so when you are using this one, obviously you need to account for a bit of bullet drop. And it starts to drop off. Um, well, we can see where I'm looking now. Uh, the nice collateral there. Uh, the edge of the water, uh, basically over there on the river, that's where the bullet drop starts to kick in, so you need to obviously... But that, that's really easy and to, to learn and account for. But more so, like that shot there as well. This was just a game where I was just taking shots at literally any player moving and running uh, and I just ended up hitting quite a few and quite a lot of shots. Uh, so, and that's ultimately what helped me get the 100 kill game again with a sniper uh, on Conquest. So I'll try talk through again, obviously there is the previous 100 game with the Car 90 AK where I've talked about how you want to play this map with a sniper so I'll be quite brief with it. But essentially, you want to stick to the bridge because from the bridge you can see all three lines of sight on the, you know, down the middle of the train, down the right side of the bridge, down the left side of the bridge. They're all straight lines of sight, and it's really easy to get headshots and enemies on the bridge um, down those three lanes. And of course, you can see all enemies moving, you know, left to right, right to left between the flags, um, you know, down on either side of the bridge, basically. So it's just the ultimate power position on the bridge. It gives you access to see the most amount of enemies possible within the time that you're playing the game uh, and therefore maximizes the amount of potential kills you can get which is what you need to do obviously in my case where I was going for the 100 kill game. So you can see here in a second I'm going to do a double lean to outdo this sniper here. With, you can see him with the sniper glint left, right. He misses his shot because I, do, I did a double lean. So that's something you might want to learn uh, how to do if you are in a 1v1 with a sniper at the very minimum, when you aim in, you need to do a one, at least one lean because it gets the enemy to retarget um, when you move. So, doing the double lean, I moved. He probably moved his scope to where my head moved, and I moved again. And of course, he shot, uh, and I had the time then to, to return the fire to, to him. So, you know, make sure you, you always learn, like I said in my um, How to Become a, a Godlike Sniper. Make sure you utilize leaning whenever you're aiming in. But a major tip for this sniper, the Gewehr sniper, is this sniper alongside the Arasaka sniper. It has uh, some of the most high. Some of it has some of the highest damage out of all the bolt action snipers. It does about 70 damage um, from medium to close range. If you, if you obviously hit anywhere other than the head, same as the Arasaka. If you can't get, uh, the, what's good therefore about using the high damage snipers like these, as you can see the enemy hit for 79 there, if I didn't hit the headshot, I hit the body shot, and a teammate finishes them off, you're still going to get the assist counts as kill, which is very, very useful. Uh, and therefore, that helps massively with going for 100 kill games, because it means you can just hit a lot of body shots and not actually get the kill, and have teammates finish them off. Likewise, it makes it so that when you get close quarters uh, like this, right here, 
bang, one hit, 80 damage, and you can finish them off with one bullet from your pistol if you're using a pistol, um, which obviously is also very, very useful as well. But yeah, so essentially as well, when you are sniping, uh, you, typically you're going to want to go for headshots, but because of the high damage of this sniper, um, you know, it's, it can be very useful in some situations to just go for two body shots, because um, you just want to make sure you get the kill and move on to the next target. You know, you, you aim, the more you play with the sniper, your aim will get better and you'll be able to hit more headshots naturally. But until you, you learn that and you get uh, very good, you know, in terms of the aim and going for headshots specifically, like here, just go for the body shot. You've got a guy there who's sliding around with a submachine gun. It's very hard to hit a headshot. We might waste a lot of ammo and a lot of time. It's just more efficient and quick to go for uh, a body shot and finish them off with a pistol or, you know, two shots with a sniper. So same again, but there, you're just, well, if you get time and you and this, you've got bot enemies like that, we're just going to keep going for revives. Let them revive, you get an extra, you know, get an extra kill out of it. So, but essentially, all you're seeing me do is I'm just patrolling the bridge. Make sure as well, if you when you're on the bridge, you're always keeping an eye on the stairs because the stairs. You have, the advan you have the height advantage over any enemy coming up the stairs, providing obviously you can hear them and you know they are going to be coming up the stairs. You can just whip your pistol out or do the one-two, hit them with a sniper and then one shot with a pistol to finish them off. But yeah, there's not much else to say really. Um, you know, watch the, check out the specializations obviously for this sniper. I've got the 104 kill game with the car on this map as well, where I pretty much talk through in depth exactly how to play this map. Um, so that's already there if you want, if you specifically want to, to see that. Um, but other than that, same as on the Breda video, I'll just jump in at any point. Where I think there's something valuable uh, you might you know need to know, um, or any tips that might be quite good for this map. But yeah, so hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll jump in uh, at some point soon. Oh yeah, that's another tip for you. I, I didn't do it in this game, but normally I will. Those sandbags uh, there, which are behind me, obviously depending on which side of the map uh, you spawn on, just build one of those walls of sandbags um, so that when you are on this bridge, using this power position right where I am now, uh, and you're looking out off the bridge, uh, what will it will really, really, really help you if you build those sandbags because it'll stop any other snipers um, that are down either side of the bridge. Uh, obviously sniping you in the head while you're standing still uh, aiming at enemies that are off you know off the bridge out on the outside on the outskirts of the map so because you've got the sandbag up they don't they won't know that you're there and even if they can see you're shooting uh, there they, you know they're not gonna they're most likely not gonna take a pot shot through the sandbags to go for a headshot and if they do obviously you're a much harder target to hit because they can't see you so make sure you build those sandbags uh, if you are going to be using this uh, bridge as a power position when you're playing as a sniper, because it will keep you alive, uh, I promise you. So again, you're going to see here in a second another double, or maybe there's even a triple lean here. Um, but look, my by leaning there, my sight pretty much went directly onto the enemy's head. So sometimes leaning can actually be... Um, very beneficial for basically you don't have to move the right stick to to get the scope on the enemy's head you can literally keep your scope center to the screen which is obviously what you normally want to do when you're sniping and you literally just lean left and right to, rather than using the the right stick to move um just you know the scope to the enemy's head sometimes leaning can move the scope on the enemy's head and because you're keeping the uh the sniper therefore centered to the screen it's just it's very good for uh, for your accuracy and for obviously then moving on to the next target. Right here you're going to see I'm going to miss a shot and I'm going to slide to the right moving out out of his line of sight therefore giving me that extra second to you know re reload the bolt basically so i can get that next shot off because i missed my first shot 
So that's basically what you also want to do when using bolt snipers. Every time you fire, you need to either move, so you're a hard target to hit, um, you know, or move behind cover, in and out of cover, um, cutting off the line of sight of enemies. So you give yourself that split second to reload and then take that next shot. So this is something unusual you're seeing here. I had a brief moment where I couldn't find or see anyone while I was on the bridge, and there's plenty of enemies on C flag. I've pushed back and I've shut the door, which you'll see here, the guy can't see me as easily because the door, it does, uh, it conceals you pretty well. So you're much, obviously, you're much harder to spot and to see. So whenever you do run away, sometimes like this, into, a, into one of these buildings, shut the door behind you because when you do peek through the door, uh, you give yourself an extra split second, half a second, before an enemy might actually see you or identify you, uh, which is the time you might need to stay alive or to, to get the kill. But you did see there, obviously I did go on to C flag to have a look and see what enemies there were there, but I have retreated back to the bridge because obviously I'm using a sniper with a 6 times scope, and I don't want to go into close range gunfights with these guys, where there's obviously like a full squad or two there. Obviously here I have pushed on to... Uh, C flag because I'm, I'm hunting that 100 game now, so I'm getting a bit more risky. Uh, and yeah, so I just pick off a few kills here, miss a few shots, uh, retreat to reload. I wanted to snipe this last guy uh, who jumps out the window in a second, uh, but while I um, tried to crouch and jump, it, it grabbed onto the ledge. But luckily, I managed to stay alive there, had a teammate help me out before finally getting caught out by a full squad there in the building. So another nice headshot there while the guy was about to, well, while he was halfway through sliding. Uh, but this is the final like clip, um, you know, stretch of the game. Uh, try and don't get anything with the V1. Unfortunately, I didn't. I'm uh, gonna just put the artillery down, just see if I can pick off uh, an extra kill or two. Um, and yeah, essentially I'm just gonna go quite aggressive here, um, hip firing a little bit with the sniper, uh, and trying to just use the use, use the pistol towards the end, just to make sure. I think I might have hit the hundred game at this point. Um, but yeah, essentially this is the end of the game. Here you'll see another good example of um, reloading in between rounds to get the next enemy or the same enemy if you miss. So, took one shot behind the pole for cover, lean around the pole, got the final kill. Uh, yeah, and this is just this is just getting a bit aggressive now, just making sure I'd, I am over that 100 kill game, which I'm pretty sure I was by this point. But yeah, hope you have enjoyed. If you've watched this far, please drop a like. If you, if you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing. There's plenty more videos and tips and tricks coming out uh, in the near future, within the coming week, days, weeks, months, uh, potentially. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Next video, I'm not sure if it's going to be a 100 game or not, uh, but whatever it will be, it will be. I'll see you on the next one.